소리 괜찮네요. 아 맛있겠다. 베리 베리 소리. 오케이. 아싸. 감자 보리밥. 오케이. 감사합니다. For me, I'll take boribap over bibimbap any day. In the countryside, the nutty and fragrant barley rice is paired with homemade banchan and wild mountain herbs, forming a much heartier, earthy, and interesting mix than the standard bibimbap. Today, we're in Yongwagun to try jangrung boribap chip, a nopo machip known for using 100% gangwondo ingredients, even famously adding potato to their boribap. But before we get to the video, I want to announce that I'm now selling my family's authentic bratwurst in Korea. Stick around to the end of the video to find out more about this unique product now available in Korea. I guess me that like beating back. Ah, okay, okay. All right, come on, Nida. Dude, this looks amazing with the potato. So much jam. Smell the gochujang. It smells so good. We want to mix it up because it's so beautiful. But here's my secret, I'm sure. Oh, the dwing dwing jjigae is amazing. Here's the secret. You put a little bit of the dwing dwing jjigae in the boribap. Wow, oh, we got some fresh fugu as service. You gotta mix. I have a feeling this is gonna be really special just because they're jang. Here, add the rest of that. Okay. Dude, so interesting. It's boribap, but they add a potato, gangwondo gamja. And you can tell already that that makes the texture way more starchy. This is gonna be delicious. Mm. Dude. That's that gangwondo yang yang jang. Their jang here is always so rich and deep. Mm. Dwing jang is amazing. I think I will. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. So nutty. That's amazing. I don't know what kind of sauce that yang yang jang is. Mm. Yeah. Wow. It's delicious. X 
desperately handcrafted food. It's hard to explain. It's like deep and rich. Dude, that ganja in the boribap makes a huge difference. It's it's really wild. It, I didn't expect the starch to thicken it up so much. It makes it like, almost like a paste. Mm. This is amazing food. It feels so healthy too. This dubu is so nutty. The yang yam jang is so intense. Almost like sancho or something. Sancho oil or something. Mm. Mm. Need these little chunks of potato in there then too. Gangwondo Gamja. Amazing. Really amazing. Oh, this is like the handmade um, gochujang. This has been fermented forever. It's almost black. It's like tar. Man. The flavor is going on in there. From fermented chili paste are wild. The only thing that I can compare that to that I've had before was that place in Ujin Court. I went, just tried it only that it by itself. That place I went in Ujin that uses the sea salt, fresh sea water to make. Gosh, this is crazy. Crazy how many flavors can come out of these vegetables <laughs> when you start fermenting things, playing with time. So you play with time and you start getting these flavors like bananas, chocolate, like. I would even say this this chojang has a slight chocolatey profile. meals where I literally have to slow down because I don't want the meal to be over and, I'm, and I like it so much I'm eating so fast. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. There's basically just one potato in here. Half of a potato. And in my mind, I thought, it's not really going to change worry about that much. I was totally wrong, though. The consistency is totally different when you add that ganja. Mm. I killed this, no problem. Before leaving, I just want to mention that with the help of the Dutch house in Namwon, I'm now selling my family's traditional handmade sausage in Korea. This is a unique recipe passed down for generations in my family and represents an authentic old world Swiss style bratwurst. To support our channel, consider clicking the link in the description below to learn more about this unique product now available.